Let's go. So this journal entry is a great uh, lesson for the power of restarting once you realize you fell off track. And I think that's why meditation is so important because meditation teaches you that like, ah, uh, here we go again, I'm fucking thinking about something, but let's just get back on track. And sometimes in life, when we get off track, we don't, you know, it could just, we could just go on a tangent for a long time. And then the art, the start of the start, right? Or like yeah, the art of the start or the like idea of restarting again, it's hard, you know, but it's, that's all it's about. You're not supposed to always be um, on track because you live in a big ass mind and the mind's always going all over the place. But when you realize that it's up to you to regain your power. Um, and in this journal entry, this one, I was the first journal entry I had written in 16 months. My last one from before this was the summer of 2016. And this is uh, November of 2017. So I went from like writing all the time about my goals and shit, you know, things picked up and then I just forgot about it. Like just wrote it off like, oh, thanks, goodbye, you know, or fucking ever. And then here it's the title is called A Revitalized Start. Um, I speak about the success that the company had achieved up, up until this point because we had incorporated in February, 2016. This was November of 2017. And I'm just like, wow, like, yo, holy shit. Like, we're, we're, you know, we had a company at that point, you know, well-established, lots of clients, revenue, employees, all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, reflecting. This might be one of the first times in my journaling experience where I was like, oh shit, like, well, thank you, you know? Um, reflecting on it, like, yeah, this shit works. And then it would compound after that, um, especially the next year. But yeah, you know, it's a compound effort, right? So yeah, that's a bit of pre-context. A revitalized start. Where do I even begin? It's been almost a year and a half. So, so much. Almost everything that was written in the beginning of the book has happened in one way or another. We went from being a little speck on the horizon to a full-blown player in the game. New World has to be in the top 10 of the biggest LED contractors on Long Island as of today. Big B's boy. We have well, oh, oh hold on, you know, that, that right there just made me realize something else um, because that was like stupid, but you know what? Like, motherfucker, that shit feel good. There's another part that's coming on the next page of this, uh, of this journal that I was inclined to want to block out because it's deep, personally and deep, you know, something that, I'm not ashamed of, but you know, I had to do and yeah, you know, but in this newfound thing of being just completely myself, because there are other people that are going to see this, that have gone through that same thing that's going to come up. And I want you to know that God is, everything is okay. Okay. You know, you work with the knowledge that you have at the time. And at the time I didn't know the repercussions of things like abortion. Right. But so God would, you don't ever get punished anyway, but you can't know what you don't know. Right. Um, and you know, knowing what I know now, um, and, and being the age I am, I would assume the responsibility for this divine creation. Cause I know everything happens as, you know, as it should. And I wouldn't even feel consciously okay with doing that again. Um, but yeah, I just went and said big beat. Like I just meant to say, fuck yeah. Like go boy, um, being myself and not giving a fuck about it. Be yourself. Like if you have, be yourself, you know, you are beautiful. Like that's it. If like be you, watch me and be you, watch me be me and hopefully, ins you know, inspire you to be you. Again, new world has to be in the top 10 of biggest LED contractors in Long Island. Go ahead, boy. We have well over 125 projects under our belt. See, this is what can happen. A dollar in a dream 18 months ago. I'm 125 in the game. You can, right? Play with your mind, shit happens. 
we have well over 125 projects under our belt are going on two years. And we went from doing about 250 K in 16 to doing a million 17. Let's go boy. So much has happened in that time frame, though, that I don't even know where to begin. It has to be a whirlwind event, a whirlwind of events that in all honesty, I have no idea got me here. To start, the end of 16 is when things really started picking up for us. We closed out that year with a lot of momentum. Some big things that happened to close out 2016 were stop speaking with Selwyn over money. Elsa got an abortion and we broke up. Through Elsa, we were awarded a Chase Bank contract. Frankie, Brandon, George, et cetera, business continued growing. All right, quick, two, uh, two lessons here. Um, lesson number one is that the value, all right, so in creation, the art of creation, right? The, the, the science of creation requires two things to, uh, to come together, right? And that's what, at a cellular level, everything is, it, it's, God splits itself up. And then those two create one more. And in regards to, for men, right? The value and having a good woman by your side or having a woman by your side. Um, my ex-girlfriend was monumental in the development of my business in the beginning. And, you know, if it wasn't for her, I don't know if I would have been able to do it. And that, my first relationship in my 20s, that five-year relationship, um, one of the, you know, miraculous things that it taught me in my business career, because now, you know, as a well-developed businessman, the value of a good woman in your life, because when you want to go ahead and create something and be really on your shit, you need a support of a woman. And society makes you, you know, it was society, society, fuck society, know this, okay? Don't be playing around. Like the, the sooner you realize the, uh, value of a good woman by your side is the sooner you'd be able to, you know, fast track your way. Now in today's world, the women are really like, you know, it's, it's, they're a dime a dozen, but then again, everything you attract, everything's an attraction. So once you become vibrationally aligned with the good ones out there, they'll find you. The reason that you're not finding those right now is because you're not vibrationally aligned, but women, you know, it, it's a pivotal part. That's why all the real, real successful men that you probably admire have wives, right? Don't let society fuck you up and think like this shit is crazy. They got men thinking they don't need women and women thinking they don't need men. You know, we all need each other. It's a co yeah word. So that's one lesson. Um, the value of a good woman by your side as a creator. Second lesson is the Frank, like, so this is just a side note. Those, these three guys are my first three electricians that I had in my company. Right. And they were the ones that got most of my jobs done. And this guy, Frankie in particular, and Brandon and Joe, actually all three of them had major drug problems, right? And I had to work with them. I, they're the ones that were doing my shit. They work, but, and that lesson is that, fuck what you heard, you know? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get, get up and running. And I laugh about that now, but yeah, you know, that's how it starts. It always starts rocky. It always starts crazy. I used to have like cokehead, pillhead, and not to say that, but it's like, this is how it starts. Go ahead and just get started. These guys were great up until they weren't because we got to a certain point where that wasn't, we couldn't be represented like that anymore. We got to a point where it, was, it didn't work. In the beginning, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Don't overcomplicate it. 2017 was much more mellow than 2016. In 16, there was the excitement of just starting. And in 17 was the hard year of maintaining and keeping shit together. We will close this year with having cleared a million in revenue. And to be honest, I don't know how. We had a lot of business rollover from 16 and we were blessed with additional great opportunities. Elsa played a pivotal role in both my life and in New Worlds. After the abortion, we got back together in March and she worked her ass off with me ever since. She. was a big part of why we were able to grow like we were, like we did. She took on the role of office manager after Mandy had proceeded and proceeded to bring systems and organization to this company unlike it's ever seen. 
I'm too grateful to her. At the moment, we're not together, but one day I do hope that we get back together. The situation is just a little difficult. The situation right now is just a little difficult. Mom got together with Dane, finally. She finally seems happy. They moved over to his house in Port Jeff. Her daughters, I mean, his daughters are making things very difficult since they don't want to assimilate. I like him for her and hope that the kids don't fuck that up. I worked with Will Alvarado in, tw in 17 and 16, uh, for about six months. That was an experience. Not good, not bad, just uh. Developed some really good relationships with, just quickly, like in 17, actually we got a contract to do like, I think 16 LED transitions in Chase Bank. And that's this Will Alvarado guy, he helped me with that contract. So just one year after we started our company, we fucking earned Chase Bank and thanks to who? My ex-girlfriend. She's the one that actually had a connection that got us that job. Okay, women have the ability to so much, they have everything we don't, um, everything you don't, you know, you're not organized, you're not systemized really, you don't know how to really take care of yourself or, well, otherwise. And then sometimes you can't sell as good as a woman because motherfuckers don't wanna to talk to you. She did all those things, you know, understand the value of, a, of, of women in your life. I now walk forward foundationally understanding that. I actually couldn't even start again until I had a good woman. Because if you not don't have a good woman, then your mind is too focused on this, that, third to focus on your objective. This is why woman is important. And this is why it's being, what's it touted that women aren't? So men can not be focused, right? Leading to more unfocused men and more masculine women. It's just fucked up. Some of my clients this year feel like, hold on, I'm sorry. Developed some really good relationships with some of my clients this year feel like I was really able to increase my network. Oh yeah, forgot to mention the biggest thing. We moved into 40 Corbin. I struck a co-warehousing deal with the uh, Wall Star. And last but not least, I fucking live at my warehouse. Ha ha, look at the smiley face, right? Fucking entrepreneurs are crazy happy about living in his warehouse. LMAO, this year has been great, but you know what it fucking was because the journey is the best part. I was living in my warehouse, cold, no hot water, but happy as a motherfucking pig and shit because my company was going, let's go. Do what you got to do. Now, to start next year, I have new ideas and new endeavors that I'm pursuing. Solar lighting, real estate, LED. The reason I opened this book back up is because you remembered it was magic, motherfucker. Stop playing. Journaling is the key to creation. It is you speaking into the void, the vibrations that you want to meet up with in the future. Okay, this is how it works. A tool that works. And I realize it here. The reason I opened this book up is because I'm ready to get back onto the grind, into the grind and the state of mind that I was in two years ago. I feel like I was losing that hunger, but fuck that, nigga, I'm back. These next two years will undoubtedly be leaps and bounds ahead of the last two, 10 million, let's go. And that's exactly what happened, okay? And I speak with this much, com uh, what's not compassion, um, compelling, right? I speak like this because this is what changed my life. Like this is proof that there is a technique that works, right? And I want you to know that. All else, I mean, not all else, but like, Fuck it. like this is like the scientific proof of how this shit works. And yeah, you know, it even excites me because I know I have the ability to continue to create my future. And I hope that it excites you that you can start to, you know, rewrite your script starting now. All right, it's December. It was December here. And after a whole year of not being on my shit, I was like, nah, you get called back to what you gotta do. And Hopefully you can receive, receive that, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of right now? Conviction, yeah. Hopefully you can see that through here and try it for yourself, you know? Peace.